let's take a whatever number, be it 40,000 or 4 lakh, out of these 24 lakh, if there is clearly with an electronic system, and I'm, let me get Vivek Thakur in also and just open this up and everybody please join in. Vivek, if there are, say, about 10, 15 centres where there is Ajibaji, if there are, say, 40,000 to about, say, 4 lakh, whatever is the number, they should, will have an exact number where you know that either with the level of grace marks or proxy, uh, you know, examinees and uh, paper leaks, there will be a set number. Can that not be identified? Can counselling not be delayed by about 10, 15 days? No. And do the entire process of this retest for all this number. Come clean with the numbers. Sometimes honesty pays. You know, what do you suggest? How can we do this? See, the basic principle of justice that is there in our constitution, it mm. says that even if uh, 10 guilty people are roaming free, the people who are innocent should not be punished. Mm. And in this case, there are thousands of students who are innocent. They didn't know of this all the nexus and all this mafia who are playing this mm. wrong game. And people in power and people having a lot of money trying to get their kids inside mm. through a window, through a back door, through a jugad into the system and getting them become doctors, MBBS from government colleges. Now the solution lies here that in during COVID time, mm. why NTA is playing this game time and again? Why there is an, a systematic way of doing an eye wash of the government mm. as well as the public in general by NTA? Just take the case of COVID time. The exam which was scheduled, NEET exam was scheduled for May, it actually happened in September and there was no chaos even mm. after six months delay. Okay. And they are every time playing this uh, logic and going to Supreme Court and everywhere, even to the government and saying, see, if the counselling gets delayed, the entire academic calendar will be affected, so and so and blah, blah. It is actually an eyewash. Just take the example of COVID. The exams were delayed six months. You are telling about counselling, the exams were delayed six months. And everything became normal in two sessions. Yeah. You are ready to do so much of injustice because of nothing. I mean, uh, it's meaningless. You are saying this, uh, if we are detained by 15 days, something will happen. Nothing happened during COVID. You, you know, Charu Pragya is there with us and Badri Narayan there with us. Charu, you know, I was talking to Vikas, uh, Vivek, beg your pardon, just before we went on air. He said something very interesting. Yeah. He said that the politicians, be it opposition or government, be it in Bihar and the centre and all, are waking up now. They are waking up on after the 14th, 15th of June. But he's saying he had evidence that neat there was some ajibaji as early as the 4th of May. 5th of May was the 5th exam? 5th of May, yes. 5th was 5th the telegram exam? video, yes. 5th was the exam? You, you have some... Yes, I have the video. You, you have... So he's saying that he has evidence that in Bihar there were claims that this... Yeah, please explain it to our viewers. Yeah, uh, similar to the UGC net case that the government said the since the paper was leaked on telegram. So what I'm claiming is that I am not sure whether it is authentic or not. It is for the government to investigate. This video is with thousands of students. It's with me. Wherein, on a Telegram channel, the person is claiming that, see, this is the need paper and the chat is dated 4th of May. I'm again, I'm saying, I'm not taking the authenticity because the government has forensic experts, the government has cyber experts to get it verified. So on the similar ground that UGC net was cancelled, the similar ground is there also. Mm. And that person was claiming, see, only my students will top in exam this year NEET and I have the paper of NEET and you'll see, his claim was that you see this year the cutoff will go really high and it will go as far as 6, 6, 650 which has never happened in history and it actually became 650. So these things are there with the students. Why not, why not investigate it thoroughly rather than giving a clean sheet to NDA without investigation that unfortunately yeah. our respected education minister did. He gave a clean sheet to NDA without any investigation, without any thorough investigation. Yeah. The clean sheet was given four days before what happened last evening? Yesterday, NTA officials have been pulled up and everybody is under scrutiny okay. now. But this is what it is. 4th of May, this has done the rounds, but nothing was done to flag it off. We are now sitting on the 21st of June. Charupa. Uh, Ananji, just one Haan minute. Ji. I would like yeah, to sure. add, even the uh, yeah. this so confession I... of Anurag Yadav, mm -hmm. which Haan. is doing rounds on social media and news channels uh, since yesterday, the confession letter is dated 5th of May. The FIR is dated 5th of May. Where were all these people, Rahul Gandhi and Vijay Sinha and all these people were sleeping? Since 5th May, 45 days has passed, nobody woke up. Yeah, to be Charu ji, with, uh, with due respect okay. Okay. to you Sorry. being a spokesperson of the ruling party, I would say that I am a teacher. It's my duty to show path to students as well as to society and if required, even to the government. I am just doing my duty. You should not point fingers to the people who are pointing fingers at the government, who are actually trying to help the government to correct the system. And we are there to help you in every technical issue 
please do not point fingers at us that we are from coaching centers, we have nexus. We are the people who actually brought it to the light. The day the result was declared on 4th June, the whole country, all media, everyone was busy with the government results and we are shouting since then. It's only for far for last four or five days, days that the political dispensation has come into the picture. Number one. Number two, regarding the six, seven centers you are saying, do you know that this six, seven centers like Jajja in Haryana, Patna, Godhra, these cases were not declared, the data was not declared by the NTA. It is we people and the students who found out through the NTA information given in the press releases and the result, we found out the similarities, we did a lot of data analysis. Nothing was released by NTA. So that's why to make things clear, it's not like six, seven centers are there problematic. You should release actually the data of all centers. I'm not saying that you release a name and the numbers. You just show the distribution of all the centers in the country, number one. Number two, you, sh you release the data in public regarding the uh, board marks and the neat marks of the students for last three years, you will very clearly, there are so many high level data scientists and Mohandas Pai uh, sir is with us. Uh, he knows that we are, we are technological superpower. We have so many data scientists who will analyze in 24 hours and give it to you that there is no correlation in 2024. In respect to the board exam marks and neat marks this year, there is a huge gap. Students scoring 35%, 40% in board marks are suddenly scoring 700, which was not there in 2023, 2022. You put the entire data in public domain to clear the doubts. So there Why is are you trying to yeah. save yourself? Because there are cases yeah. where people no, have no, changed no, no. their changed their uh, exam centers, centers yes. exam centers from Delhi to Jajjar. People have fl uh, flown from Karnataka to Jajjar and to Godhra to write exams. So clearly there are anomalies which are there.